profanity nation. 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 Yeah, it's the new era of man for some old school fans with a new school brand. We got money on the mic with the plan in hand. And step Pat to his left, they go hand in hand. And to the right, we got Simpster, he putting it down. It's the profanity nation, we running the town. Yeah, it's the profanity Pro nation. Profanity nation. Hey, welcome to the show. Welcome to the profanity nation podcast, where we are the voice of the professional fan. What we do here is we talk Lakers, Lakers talk all day, all night, but today we're going to talk a little bit of Lakers and we're going to get to some NFL because it's NFL playoffs and you have to do that. But first, before we get started with any of that, we're going to go ahead and introduce my co-host, Money Mike. How playoffs? You, you, you got those- You uh, talking about playoffs? Are, uh, those, are those Kareem or Rambus glasses he's wearing? Hey, these are my these are my safety glasses I forgot to swap out, but yeah, you know. <laughs> hey, how y'all doing? I don't let it pass, right? I'm yeah, on that no, it's all good. Hey, ode to the great. Hey, Lakers. Um, <laughs> hang on, man. Wait, hold your turn. It's just a so you asked how I was stuff. doing, man. Yeah, yeah but we're not talking <laughs> Lakers. You're talking about you personally. I got you. Yeah, you know, you're doing good. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Can I'm you good. see okay in those things? Yeah, I see. I see perfectly fine. Okay, good. And I feel safe. Nobody can poke my eye or nothing. So Nothing's you know. gonna like shoot no. in your eye. No, okay. no, right. no screwdrivers. No nothing. Man. All right, yeah. I don't know where those are. Uh, yeah. I know people. You, you guys have comments, and they're not always great. You know, with my money, Mike's opinions. But I don't know if people are throwing screwdrivers at you. But apparently yeah, no. maybe I don't know. All right, all right, uh, all right. To my left, keep as safe. always, Mr. Step Hat. How you feeling today? Good. Yeah? Real good, man. Yeah. Just uh. Couldn't wait to do this show. We got a lot to talk about. Like you said, NFL playoffs. NFL and also, playoffs. Um, you know, these Lakers, man. We just got just to gotta go ahead and just get it off our chest. You know, yeah. this, we're, we're, we're almost to the point. Let's get started, guys. Okay. So, uh, let's get started. Let, let's let's talk. We'll just go right into Lakers talk because that's what everyone loves. And then we'll we'll transition yeah. to the NFL talk here. You're here for Lakers talk, so let's just give the people yeah. what they want. Okay? Yeah, yeah. Um, this, is the, the, this is the type of play where one day – they're my Lakers, and the other day, they're your Lakers, <laughs> right? That's what happens right now, yeah. right? You're like, your yeah. Lakers showed up. Those are my Lakers. My Lakers didn't show up yeah. last night. My Lakers showed up the other night, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, so as Mike put it, we were talking before the game. Epic game uh, against the Warriors. Yeah. Triple overtime. Um, some great stuff happened in that game. We'll let Mike fill us in here. And then two losses again. Well, it's not the two losses, though. It, it's not it is is to to the caliber of team that we're losing to. Yeah. When we where where you're playing the Warriors, and you literally played this epic three three uh, OT game like and down to the wire, uh, still and still win by one. You know you know normally when you have overtime, you know people get tired and. And then all of a sudden, the second overtime, third overtime, they get outscored by six, and then it's a blow up. Right. You know, literally, the third overtime always went to a fourth overtime. But I truly believe, and I know it's crazy, I keep saying it, but y'all got to think about what I'm saying. I think LeBron went in there and said, we are not losing this game under no circumstance. And they played like that. <laughs> and then I feel like, all right, y'all, y'all can take the next two games off. And I don't care if we win or lose. And and we play like that. I it, it's it, kinda it, hard to argue. I, yeah. <laughs> I, I, yeah. <laughs> I keep saying it's it, a, but it, I mean what tell me go if you, you see this, something like, different, you, you tell want me. To, you want to be the homer and be like their, you know, their play is not, supporting your not theory. Le, not LeBron. Uh but uh you know my gripe right now. I'm looking at like you said, you you have um you have like <laughs> money called the LeBron effect, where you could, we gonna play, we decide we're gonna win or we're gonna lose. I also call it the Darvin Ham effect. And when you see the Lakers play with Vanderbilt, the Lakers are a better team than when they have Terry on Prince in the game. You know, when Terry on Prince in the game, there's always in the negative, and it's like, and you know what, and it's like. It's kind of jacked up because they put him in positions that's not really no fault to his own. Like, he can't really succeed. be – yeah, he's not a really good outside um, perimeter defender. So how can he really be called on to be that kind of stopper, that wing that we need? Because he's playing him against – I mean, alongside D'Angelo Russell and Reeves that are both pretty slow of foot. Yep. So it's – you what do you, you don't that, have that, that cover. Yeah, he's that covered. You safety. know, and he's AD can only do so much. 
So it's like, okay, let's get somebody in there that can, you know, mask some of those defensive, you know, defensive, defensively. Um, tongue twister. Defensive, <laughs> defensive. That's a hard. <laughs> and 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 basically, just you know, everyone gets slotted in a different. Their, their defensive matchups are different, and you see it. And I think that Darvin Ham is too stubborn to make the change because what is happening right now is not just like the grumblings from the fans. The media is now asking him these questions directly about his lineups and why aren't you playing certain matchups and certain lineups, and he's too stubborn to go ahead and change. And so it doesn't really, honestly, you know, the Lakers are, are really – Playing uphill, I, I don't know, but I mean, can't listen. If you if you look at the plus minus, everybody had a plus minus of like negative. Like Austin Reeves scored twenty eight points, but he had a negative fifteen plus minus. You know, LeBron had a negative uh, twelve plus minus. Like the whole team on the Lakers all had a negative, uh, you know, nine or above, except for two players who had a plus uh, plus two. Who is he? You know what I mean? Who was um, because and, it was a blowout. Yeah, well, like Terry on Prince, I could have swore is a negative eighteen. There was a comparison, and he and only had like a plus seven, thirty or something. He only had seven points, so his contributions on while he's on the court does not match. Reeves was a Reeves was a minus uh, fifteen, and he scored twenty eight. Right, so the only Which one game that, are we talking? Uh, I'm, I'm, t- I'm talking about this last game. Atlanta. So, uh, yeah, Atlanta. So the so Hood. Uh, Jalen Hood was a plus two, had two points. Um, Mays was a plus two, and 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 Lewis was a plus two. And I barely even know these people. So, <laughs> so, mean, so, so they, <laughs> when, they're getting their when, pluses when, in garbage when, time, right? It's like, you know what I'm saying? saying? They're but playing literally, their scrub. But, but, let, like, let's, but, let, but, but let's go. Oh. We got minus eighteen, minus six. That was LeBron. Minus eleven, minus eleven, minus fifteen, minus nine. No AD, minus not, nine. Though, everybody right? That, yeah, right? no AD. No AD. Let's yeah. Put it in perspective. Wood. Tonight, Wood last was a minus was four. Wor- it was worse, but tonight was no AD. So the best, the best performer out of everybody was Christian Wood, and a mon- and minus four, um, with with above twenty minutes. Let's say that. Yeah. Um, and look, it, it, it's. I think it's. The mentality we get, man. Bro. I mean, I don't know, man. Look, I, think, I, I think we're. I b- want to be proven wrong, you know. I, uh, me too. But help me out. Like, but help me I out with you wrong too, I think you have LeBron be- as the reason. I have the coach as the reason. We could probably be somewhere in the middle. Okay, um, so so you're saying that they're asking LeBron. I'm I'm sitting there asking LeBron if he's gonna win, and you're saying they go ask Darvin Ham. Well, Darvin Ham is is literally actively a, uh, a, like an agent from the like something he, he's like he's he's working against he's the a double spy he's a, he's, a, he's a spy he's a plant <laughs> he's, a he's, double he's spy. dude he's a double spy he's, he's a, a plant. double spy like seriously he's not working for the lakers he's not working for somebody else somebody else is paying him because the stuff that he does is mind boggling and 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 so i don't ever think that we can make any trades that we're going to make it doesn't matter as long as this man's the coach it's yeah, going to have to be an injury for him to put in the right people, just like it was last year. Everyone forgets that. It wasn't because – He fell into it. He fell, he fell right into that lineup. It wasn't like he chose that lineup. It was by attrition that that lineup was created. And so now <laughs> – so now he's like, let me just go ahead he's and – being exposed again. Let me bitch the people that got me there and add these new people and then give them starter minutes. It don't even make any sense. It doesn't make any sense that they're supposed to replace – those starters, they weren't there to replace them. They were to, to supplement, to complement. The complement. So, so let me ask what you: What are we talking about right now? Who was who were who was Darvin Ham uh, playing during the tournament? Because I mean, it, it's was, tournament was games. Ben, you're talking was about. Brandon Mill? Oh, what you know? We're playing a lot too. Um, what's the guy's name? Max Christie. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because see, I want Max Christie tournament is, Lakers. I want tournament Lakers. So whatever the he what Darvin Ham was doing, uh, whatever mentality that they had, you know, do I think they're gonna win every single game? No, but that mentality, that um, the 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 a style of coaching, the style of play, the the player rotation, all that worked for the tournament. So I just want whatever they were doing, and maybe I gotta go look at some video 
and check out these eight games and find out what their rotation is <laughs> and have them just imitate that. Don't look at video of last game. Look at video of the Those eight games, games of the tournament and find out what worked then. You because can't argue that with worked. that. Plus Unfortunately, he's that, been saying that it, works. and you can't argue it. His theory is actually playing out, and that's like, uh, so yep. frustrating. So I'm just trying to figure out where where is that? Because that's the Lakers I want. And and, and yeah. I know we have it. I know we have it. With the team we got well, now. You know, you with can't, the team you we can't have. do that with the double with spy. With the team we have now. No, yeah, we got you can't do that with the double spy. He's, spy. he's working for, obviously, the Celtics. He must be working with the Celtics. <laughs> Man, I don't know. I, I, right? I, don't know. A I, plant. I, I, I just he's want. He's a plant. We need, we, need a, we need to find the team <laughs> that we had with that fake banner. Fake banner team. That's the me. fake banner team. The in season tournament team. Where's the fake team. banner team? In season yeah. tournament team. Like, you already you know. He's heard champion. Here's the thing. You yeah, already champion. know on Call Me Night 2A24. I'll be there. Okay. So let me. Okay. <laughs> I'll be great. Let me tell you this. <laughs> For you guys, since he brought it up. So uh, <laughs> I, you know, my, my guy, my guy Simpson over here is a season ticket holder to the Lakers. But, you know, he basically. Has access to some games or don't. So I said, hey, I want to go on 228, right? He goes and says, can't get that game, but I'll check with my girl and see what we could do. This, this is what it is, right? Yeah, I check with my girl and see what we could do. Because she can get tickets to yeah, her work yeah, as well. Right. So, she can, so, so he has two resources to get tickets, right? Yep. Now, here's the thing. I get a test message, and the test message says, Hey, I got tickets to the game. No, that's cool. not at all cool. what it came. Cool. That's Let, not how hey, it came at all. I'm, I'm letting you know. See, here's the thing. This is, what, <laughs> this not is what, how it no, was. Listen, this is <laughs> this is not. Th- listen, I've learned from being married almost 16 <laughs> years. Here we go. I learned from being married. It, it, I've learned from being married almost 16 years. <laughs> it's not love you, babe. Uh, that that is not what I think. It's how I feel. Right. So I get a test message, right? And a test message says, hey, I got good news and some bad news, right? Cool. Now, I don't know what he's talking about. But we, well, no, I said I have good news for me and infanity. Okay. But that's bad ridiculous. news for you. That's okay. Ridiculous. Okay. So, so he's bringing this up, right? So he says infanity, if you guys don't know, we are part owners of infanity studios. You know, where we are filming this show right now. And there's a whole lot of business deal, dealings that we're lot. in all the time. <laughs> not related to the show. Related to the show. To the whole studio. You know, we have a whole lot of business that we got. So, he tells me good news, bad news for Infandy. And then I'm thinking, all right, cool. Some studio news. <laughs> and then I find out that he has tickets to the game. But his go. girl is forcing herself to go with him. Because she got the tickets. <laughs> so, she, and so my girl I won't mean, let me take anybody. Now, why why are you even telling me that, hey. <laughs> that, that, that behind you your have back? You wanted no, to go. It's not, it's not behind the back. It's like, hey, man, that, that, that's, that's not a text at eight, like 8.30 at night. That's a, hey, oh, by the way, my girl got some tickets. I'm going with her. Right? Pat. Back, early out of bounds. Early out of bounds. <laughs> <laughs> early out of bounds. Go. Early, early no, out of bounds. Go. Pat. You're out of bounds. I can no, no, right I'm now. just asking. <laughs> ask you. If I get a tent, I mean, is that something you want me to tent you? <laughs> hey, man, I got tickets to the Kobe game, but uh, me and Eric are going. Or do you want us to we hang out? That's how I see you. Hey, man, me and Eric are going to the game. You know, which one would you prefer? I'm just asking. I'm just asking. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's both going to sting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it doesn't yeah. matter. Dude. I but, pulled the Band-Aid off. But, I just said, fuck it. But the, te- off. but the text like, comes through. Just let through. me down easy, he said. You know what I mean? Let me down like, easy. Yeah, here's the thing. I'm not, I'm not, even, I'm not thinking about it. Uh, you know what I mean? At, 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 with the text. I'm not thinking about possibly about going to the game or anything at that time. And he brings this up to inform me that he was going and, and I'm not. Uh, I'm just saying, like, you know. 
Hey, you guys, <laughs> comment. Let me know. Am I inbounds or out of bounds? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I thought, do I you guys think that's the proper way to tell me? That's just all, all right. right. Well, all right, you cool. know, it, it don't matter. I'm not I mad. I can't it's take it good. back now. So at least, at least somebody yeah. from at least I didn't from do the decision. Infanny television. <laughs> at least it wasn't. Yeah. The, I didn't televise it. Yeah. At least, at least somebody Here's the decision. Let's open the envelope. If any, no, Mike is not going. <laughs> right. 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 And, and I and I watched the game. and I wouldn't have seen them on a teleprompter. You know what I'm saying? Like that would be like this dude didn't tell me. Yo, so. what a dick. Yeah, it's all good. You were uh, angry, huh? You were angry. I wasn't angry. I yeah, was yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 <Turbed. laughs> all right. So, so Lakers, Lakers, Lakers. Okay, Golden State, Lakers. Great game, um, guys. Boston still playing strong. Clippers playing great. Clippers are scaring me. Uh, well, they do every year, right? No, but you know what? This is different, and 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 because. Um, it's different because they're, they, Tyron Lue is a good coach. He's not Doc Rivers, mm. which we have to go in and talk about. Too. <sighs> but he's Ty, Tyron Lue <laughs> is is a coach, and that knows and and has re, re, really been proven. I feel. And look, when they got James Harden in there, and and it's really telling now because when they got James Harden. Uh, in the beginning, they lost like what six, seven in a row, mm-hmm. and and the running joke was, um, you know, is it going to work? Is it going to work? But what you don't, what what you are realizing now was Tyron Lue was implementing something at the time, you know, and he stuck with what he was implementing. He was and now it. it's literally the complete opposite because he felt that that was the right way for them to play. He he was using the that same way. You know, which is our argument about Darvin Ham is that he changes the matches and stuff. But Tyron Lue implemented something. He knew it, to, it was going to be a learning curve. Once they understood what he was, I mean, what did it, they went, what, 20 and, you know, 8 or 2 or so something like that? The Bucks last month. So yeah, you know what I mean? So, so they currently stand at 30 and 15. Right. In the West, fourth in the West. And, and, and uh, one and they, game down in the loss column. And, from first place, Minnesota, and, and they're playing the best. They really are playing. Uh, they're playing good ball. Like they just it's, it's not. Too. It's not lucky. Like what's happening? They're actually playing. Yeah. Good, impressive ball. Uh, they're and, beating good and, teams. Yeah. yeah, they're beating they're good teams. teams on the road and at home. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and if they stay healthy, you know they can. They can. Yeah, you know, I mean they, they now, can't. Now here's the thing. Win a championship. Here's the thing. Well, here's the thing though. It, I'm curious, guys. This is this is a question, okay? Is is any of the pressure relieved being or any of the stress of the Clippers possibly succeeding with a championship relieved with the fact knowing they will never hang a banner in crypto? No. Because no. if they win, they'll hang it in their new arena into it and it will you won't have to look at it. Uh, okay, that will be the only so, uh, like s- you know, silver lining, but <sighs> I just don't want to win. Let me explain. Like, and, and we I'm always sorry. talked about the um, the the worst case scenario, and we still and we're looking at it now. It's staring us in the face again. You know the 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 dreaded you know Clipper Boston Celtic championship. Like, what do you want to do? Like, how do you want to die? I mean, like, you want to drown or you want to yeah. like, you, you yeah. want to get burned alive? Like, how do you want to die? Like, seriously, fall on the sword. Be, Which one is it? Yeah, is it green like, or both is it blue be or like, red? Because at first you have one. Boston wins, of course, they go back ahead of us in championships. And then he's like, if the Clippers win, they're going to have that one. And they're going to hold on. And I know we're going to be able to say we got 17. And we're going to do that, and it's going to be like, okay, we got 17 championships but they got to their them. one. But it does not matter. You guys are over there. We are going to enjoy this one championship we got. And this is going to last generations. Generations, so it doesn't matter. I don't want that. I want their story to die. Yeah. I don't want them to win any championship. I want them to live in our shadow through eternally. eternally. So, <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> the big the big battle is that Pat man. Like you know, if if the question is, and I'll ask, ask it, you refer to it. If it's the Clippers and the Celtics, who we're going for? I gotta pick the Clippers because I just can't. I can't let the Celtics get eighteen. Mm-hmm. So I will take a Your Clipper. Stomach. I'll take a, st- a Clipper one over a Celtic eighteen. That's the only re- way that I want would ever be okay with the Clippers winning the championship. Now, with that being said, with that being said, we the Lakers have to win another one real quick. 
because we can they cannot be the last one for the last eight years to win a championship. So they you know so we have to kind of erase that where the Lakers were the last ones to win the so, championship. So if they win, so, then the yeah. pressure is on either way. Yeah. If yeah. either two of those two, if any other team in the in the in the league wins, no one we don't care. But if Boston or the Clippers win, the pressure is on even more. We the pressure is on through the whole organization, and that's the crazy thing about yeah. it. It's not even on the Lakers as the players. It's, it's going to the top because the drive to get to 18 is going to be on overdrive yeah. because they have to. It's not because now we're just playing that. Like well, we not, can't be the not, we can't be the one. We oh yeah, we the one. We the one. Two, no, three. Well, here's the thing. They can't have an error. I don't want. I'm not, I'm, not even worried, I'm not even worried about one or two. I just can't be like, well, who's the last person to win the championship, the Lakers or the Clippers? Look, dude, I can't I, I can't just, I just, that I just want to lay yeah. this. I need to you guys, eliminate close your that eyes. question. Let's, 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 let's take a journey here. Okay? No, I'm not going. Relax. Relax. <laughs> I'm not going. Relax. Relax. I'm not going. Let's close your eyes. They might not let's even, even let's make imagine it. we're they going. They might even make it. Let's imagine we're <laughs> going through the season. We're in June. We're winning for the Nuggets. It's Boston versus Clippers in the – in the finals, it's Game Seven in LA. Oh. <laughs> I, one of the teams is going to win it in crypto. The Clippers take it, and they win on the Clippers court, but in crypto before they leave. Oh. On the way out, and oh. they get to say, "Enjoy your in-season tournament banner." Yeah. On their way out, as they is the it, championship. Here's banner. my question: Is anybody <laughs> on the Clippers? That's that's that penny. Who is pe- who is that penny in, in, on Clippers? Who oh, now on a Clippers? Yeah, PG, yeah. Who who no, who, who who's gonna it. throw some shade? It would only be Westbrook. At, at the, Westbrook. It would only be Westbrook. 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 Oh, West, I Westbrook. forgot about Westbrook. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about Westbrook. <laughs> oh, I he forgot about wait, Westbrook. My guy. So, well, yeah, oh my god! Oh my god! Surprise! You even question. Oh, oh don't let I that happen. About, you know, I'm thinking PG, thinking the Kawhi. No, you know, and, and you know what? It's not uh, just the Lakers. It's Harden. the Lakers fans. Yeah, Westbrook is going to literally have the keys to the city. Oh. He's gonna run this bitch. Oh, <laughs> For real. because you he know won what? a championship in Los Angeles. Oh, oh the Clippers. <laughs> oh, the Clipper. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, you ain't, you ain't, oh, well, don't yeah. be calling him. Mr. He, and you know the you know the biggest. You ain't heard and, he, and, and, and you bad. know why he would actually have a license to be petty. He's from LA. No, not not because of that. Huh. That dude playing for like four million dollars, four five million. Oh, he's yeah. playing for the love. No, but. You, look, we messing with his money. We messing with his money. No, up. no, no, no. But see, listen to that. Listen <laughs> to me, though. Like, they're like, dude, you hit. I mean, they were talking about him, but he hit rock bottom. Dude, you went from 44 million to 5 million. You know, and they were talking about that. And this dude turned around and went to the championship. Only make. Yeah, he has every right to be paid. I couldn't even be mad at Westbrook. That dude's going to be a 30 for 30. Yeah, I can, you can, act, you can West actually Westbrook, take Westbrook him away from the Clippers. You can actually say you kind of could root for him individually. Especially if you hate the yes. Lakers. Oh, if you hate the Lakers, yeah. you want, you need yeah. And everybody hates the but Lakers. But he can be except petty, Lakers though. But, like, there is no, oh I don't care but, about the Lakers. It's either you love them or you hate, or you hate them. them. Yeah. So, There's and no it's, middle ground with us. Yeah. I like oh, it like man. that. I like it like that. I like that. I like it. It makes us. Man. That's right. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Oh, right. oh! You know what? Let's change the subject. All right, yeah, we're gonna. Because I, I can't, right, I can't stomach right, this. All right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, are we? Are we gonna producer? Are we doing commercial breaks today? We are. All right. Let's uh, go do a quick commercial <laughs> break. Let's uh, say hi to our sponsors. Be sure to support them. Don't go, go anywhere. You're listening and watching to the Profanity Nation podcast. Hey everyone, I'm Neko Gumake with the LA Sparks, and you are watching Infinity. Okay. Television. Oh no problem. <laughs>
A podcast for the fans, by the fans. Dive deep into the topics the other shows miss, raw and uncensored. And he's going to play team ball. His legacy is at stake. Rare, hard-hitting interviews with players, coaches, and you, the super fans. I'm not hating. I'm like, okay, cool. Good. Three championships in five years. He's more than good, bro. Profanity Nation. Listen live or subscribe on your favorite podcast platform. Neil Glimmerkit, and you're watching Infanity Television. Boom. Shout out Infanity Television. This is Juju Watkins. See y'all. Thanks for sticking around. Thanks for watching the Profanity Nation podcast. Available on all pad, pl- ugh, podcast platforms. And, of course, we're playing every Tuesday night at 8.30 on InfanityTV.com and YouTube. So, uh, okay, we're back, we're back, we're back. Okay. Um, NFL. Yep, NFL, guys. Uh, We are in NFL playoffs. We are now Super Bowl bound, guys. And I would actually say that there's some disappointment in the teams that made it. They're potentially upsets that weren't really upsets, but everyone wanted this. Is that, uh, go ahead and fill us in, Step Hat. Uh, I mean, like, I think the whole world wanted <laughs> Detroit versus Baltimore. <laughs> and did not want to see the Why? rematch. Why? I mean, okay, so first of all, first and foremost, like, hey, we got these conspiracy theories that are going around, right? We and got they the were logos, amazing. Though. So we, so we got the logos. So we debunked one, and we yeah, grabbed another one. The logo color. Right, the logo color, it did not happen, right? It was close. We got to the Ravens, game. Yeah. But we got to talk about that. But go okay. ahead. Okay. All right. But now we got the Taylor Swift thing. Right. And now it was the NFL wants Taylor Swift to be there. And I just don't know, like, we were talking about, like, what is her value there. But honestly, I'm going to tell you right now, just regular people, women are talking about watching the Super Bowl because she's more than ever. And I promise you, this is my job. Oh, by the All way, the women if you're that don't interested, watch football. Sorry. If you're interested, you need to watch Ladies Love the NFL on InfanityTV.com. Sorry. <laughs> Shameless plug. <laughs> um, yeah, so, um, yeah, just having um, her there is now drawing interest for the women to be there. And it's, it's, it's selling a ton of yeah. gear. Yeah. Ton of gear. Yeah, shirts, I mean, look. And shirts and this and that. No question. Look, look, the dynamic is, I mean, first of all, look, look you, you saw this in the regular season. You saw it going to the playoffs. I know I was at my mom's house, and uh, and I know it was a wild card, and I know I wanted to turn the TV on to watch TV. You know, I'm at my mom's house, she got the red TV, and I'm turning it on, and I'm looking at two, I'm looking at eleven, I'm looking at four, I'm looking at seven, I'm looking at ESPN, and I'm like, where is this game? I know that it's on, and I'm looking on, I look on my phone, and I see that it's on Peacock. And my first question was, why was this game on Peacock? It's a playoff game. Why right. is it on Peacock? Right. Right? And the next day, they were talking about how Taylor Swift and they were doing the wave the and, and, and all that type of stuff. And I was like, oh, the only game that would be on Peacock would be a Kansas City game because people would actually go and sign up for Peacock to watch it. Right? Like, true NFL fans aren't going to do that. Right, yeah. I'm like, oh, forget it. Like, I, I was like, oh, it's on Peacock. Oh, well. <laughs> I'll just have to find out what happened. It, it's it's the wild card, so it ain't going to matter. And I'll watch all the other games that I could watch. That was my mentality. Yeah. But I'm not a Swifty, right? So yes, I didn't are. care that much. He is. But how many Swifties actually went and got Peacock to be able to watch this I wonder game? what the numbers were and if Peacock released that. I wonder. Uh, yeah, I think they I mean, got some crazy numbers for, yeah. uh, so th- for just yeah. the new subscriptions. Yeah. Right. So, and then you yeah. see, like, the. It, it was marketing uh, genius, though. Yeah, then you see the semifinal game when, Ted, when, when Kelsey gets the wide over touchdown and he runs in and he immediately goes like this and they immediately flash to Taylor Swift. Oh, she has her own camera. 
She yeah. has her own camera that's dedicated to her. to her. Like just like you know what I'm saying. That's what. That's why it's so instant. Anytime he does something on the field, it goes directly to her. Both All right, Swift right. Camera, both uh, Swift. Kelsey. Okay. And it's, and Quarterback it's, Swift. Swift. Yeah. Keep hey, on the Swift. NFL is Follow a marketing. Swift. Yeah. So Swift. we. I always said that the Kansas it's City should not win. Yes. I always said Kansas City should not win, and but the Ravens will have to blow them out. I, I always said that because. If it's a close game, look, we saw that Buffalo Bills kick. You know, we saw yeah. the kick. It was no win. The, the, it wasn't. It was. It was, literally that dude went from the time the time he kicked the ball, it never had a chance okay. of going in. Like you know, the Bills. You know, like on the road, it's cold and all the other stuff. That dude like shanked that and never was going to go. I'm not saying this, it's a conspiracy. But everything. Yes, looks, you are. <laughs> but look, exactly. What, I mean, what else? Does. What are you saying? Well, because I, I, I think the, definitely the NFL wanted certain things to happen. Now, this is what I think is also interesting. I think that everybody picked up on that color thing, and I feel, feel like the NFL was like, Shit. "That can't happen." And okay. then they, and then so the NFL can't win for losing. Right. Like they go, they damn it, they do damn it, they don't. They go ahead and well, have them. You know that. You know that. You know the. You know the, um, you know the referee. That they. That the head referee. They said yeah. the a yeah. road team oh. is fifty five percent. I mean, these are these are regular stats that these are Googleable stats, brother. I mean, I don't know. I'm, I'm not saying, saying. I'm just saying when it comes to. I'm not saying. I'm just saying. No one made Lamar Jackson throw overthrow those receivers though. Okay, you I agree. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. no one did that. It has yeah. They did that. <clears throat> so what I'm saying is conspiracy. I'm trying to cause like they never stood a chance. I figure that I'm savvy enough to look at the ins and outs and be like, okay, that's shenanigans. Like I, you know, that doesn't look right. I mean, that looks like the red phone. You know what I'm saying? I can see certain things. However, when you're talking about like just being outplayed, NFL had nothing to do with that game. They got outplayed. You they didn't have to do it. Zay Flowers go ahead and literally gets or they're down by ten points. He gets the bomb. He runs. He goes in and get a stupid taunting penalty. He at the ten. He goes all the way back to the twenty-five. They do another pass. They give it to him, and he's so amped up. He trying to reach over because he got to make up for the mistake. Yep. So he could have just let it go. He could have just just get down to the one no, and didn't have no. He had to reach over Fumble. the goal line because he needs to score, and he fumbles the ball. The NFL didn't do that. NFL didn't. So what I'm saying is, yes, to, to, uh, the NFL is want certain things, but damn, boss. I mean, Baltimore just gave it to him. It wasn't even like. I mean, errors. come on. It was errors. Lamar Jackson had his worst game, and almost as I feel bad for him because now they're going to pile on. They're going to pile on because he's been put in this position before, and he's coming up short again. And that is just going to be the narrative. Until he wins, they're going to just always That's say how it that he's be, like, though. yeah, it should. Yeah. But I'm just saying, we're, we, we, he's now, I hate to, for lack of a better word, been exposed. I mean, he's exposed. There's nothing he can do other than to get better because he's been there's, he's been figured out. You know, keep him in the pocket, let him be a thrower. If he beat you with his arm, he had a great day. But more times, it's what you saw on Sunday. Look, I, I actually, I, mean, I think conspiracies are fun, but I also love sports, so I don't want I it to be, mm-hmm. I don't want it to be uh, scripted because, yeah, right. it, you know, it, it just takes the fun out of really like what we're watching. Um, but at the same time, you know. <laughs> it could be a conspiracy because, you know. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, like I said, I, I think it definitely has to be a definite thing. And they made, Casey made it a definite thing. Um <laughs> But I, I think it's I think it's is it's fair to say what we think the NFL wanted. Right. And we did and I'm pretty sure the NFL wanted. You know, they had then they they wanted Taylor Swift in the Super Bowl. Yeah, and probably if you think about Can they Taylor Swift look, look having look, Taylor Swift there? Vegas wanted to taste it. It does it and you know what? But I'm actually interesting. I mean now but I, I, again I will repeat I would Super these. Bowl is the one thing that is beyond that now. Now, if we if we exp- you know that that's bigger no. essentially. But if we if we do explore this now, there's two weeks, right? There's two weeks of time where advertisers now know that Swifties will be watching and they're there. So now, as, as far as the networks, NBC usually carries Super Bowl, right? 
Well, they, oh, well, they rotate. They, they rotate. So this year is going to be <coughs> the. Uh, it's, on, it's on Fox, I think. Okay, okay. I think it's on. Or, or, or okay, CBS. Wherever it is, they're selling the advertisement. They paid the bill. Well, those advertisers and the core demographic of w- what advertisers were going to, you know, choose to spend Sam their money at the Super Bowl just changed dramatically. And now we may very well see a $300 million Hello Kitty commercial on um, <laughs> the Super Bowl so where before it was only budget. Apple <laughs> and it was only this. You know, you're going to see some <laughs> other commercials that aren't meant for you me and the NFL fan that they normally are meant for. So Simpson, that's one crazy. Simpson, you know, you, nah, you, you know what, you know let's what, let's see you, what I got. I want to see it go get do creative. You, do you know <laughs> what? Do you, you're you do not even you're missing the biggest element about the Super Bowl. You know what the biggest element what? about the Super Bowl? Other than the game. No, the 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 game is just is a, is a, is a, is a sideshow for this. The prop bets. That's the biggest element of the Super Bowl. The prop games, yeah. The, the game is in Las Vegas. You know it's going to be a plus or minus how many times is Paris Swift coming, how many times they're going to show her. Yeah, they probably have. Uh, you know, all, I mean, there's going to be prop- they do event, how many times are going to show her? Yeah, they probably Yeah, they, they're, it's going to be. Can't, I, I, can't listen, that be. Like, they're going to, somebody so is going to say, hey, there's, 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 there is going to be a prop know, right? bet. <laughs> There's yeah. going to be a pop bet. It can't be so fixed. Yeah. yeah. They, 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 the, the, the producer is, could just what, say they were going listen. Uh, uh, 117 times. No. That's the number I picked. No, no, no. It's going to There's be. There's no log. It's a producer. No, but see, Simpson. Simpson, you know, <laughs> see, here's the thing. They, they're, they're prop bets all the time on everything. It's a it's a prop bet on um, if the uh, whoever in the National Anthem is going to have long sleeves on. If they're going to have high heels on, what color is going to be? These these are regular prop bets. Uh, what's Usher's first song going to be at the highest halftime show? You think it ain't going to be a prop bet on? Is he going? Is she going to have a, Dude, he practices. a, a, he Kel- a Kelsey like vest? Times before they go and sing? No. Yeah, how many, you knew every song that was going to be played by Dr. Dre. That's why I. You could have put that, bets. That, yes, I 100% could have. Why didn't you? Well, <laughs> because I was sworn to secrecy and I had an NDA and and I didn't want to get in all that. But yeah. yes, I but I did talk about it when I was there. I knew what the lineup was. I knew what the special guest was going to be when I was there. But uh, my point is, you think they're not going to say is Taylor Swift going to wear a Kelsey jacket or a Kelsey vest? Is Taylor Swift going? You know, is, don't take money. <laughs> I mean, they're listen. Is Nickelodeon going to start you, taking bets? But you know what's crazy about like t- this whole like Taylor Swift like I guess phenomenon, if you want to call it in the NFL, is that we just spent <laughs> five, <laughs> ten minutes complaining about it, talking and about we Swift. finished. So every that's show all we're gonna here. say on that. Yeah, <laughs> we finish every show here with a segment we call "Money Mike's Out of Bounds." Money Mike's gonna share his opinions right. or thoughts on a topic, and he wants to know if us talking about Taylor Swift for more than ten minutes is out of bounds. Or <laughs> Money Mike, no you way. have the mic. It oh, actually goodness. is along the same line. <laughs> uh, Thanking you. For this has nothing to do with Taylor Ill. Swift. <laughs> I think this is almost. I th- when I was thinking about this out of bounds, I think this is my one of my most favorite ones, and it has nothing to do with LeBron James. Oh wow! It, it has nothing to do with LeBron or James. Or Bronny. But this is my no 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 <laughs> no nobody in the James family. Wow. Yeah. But right. but I think this is my most favorite one, and because I'm a, before I give you guys out of bounds, you guys have to. Number one, agree with uh, it's the two part out of bounds. Okay, but in order to get to the second part, Layered. you have to agree to my first one. Okay, of course, okay. we do that. So we agree. All right, so <laughs> we're, we're talking about prop bets, right? Okay. So I was thinking about if I made a prop bet for this game that's going to be in Vegas, and I've been out there doing the Mayweather Pac- Mayweather Pacquiao fight. I've been there. I've been out there doing All Star break. Mm-hmm. I Pro Bowl last year. Pro Bowl last year. I've been out there. I have a plus a minus of five celebrity athlete, somebody that's known that is going to get in trouble Super Bowl weekend. Okay. So I have a plus a minus of five. So am I out of bounds? To put a plus or minus of five for five or below the people 
that we are well known That's the lie. that you are that. going to get publicly. arrested publicly, get in the fight publicly, publicly, yeah, get in the fight, uh, <laughs> arrested, assault. Uh, you know, something... So you're saying the over-under is five? Over-under over five. Under okay, five. Now, Am I out of bounds to even make this a prop bet is my question. And if you and, and, and if, if you agree with my that, then you tell me what your over-under is. Okay. Go ahead, Scott Pat. Wait, do I agree with it? I do you agree. agree with me even giving is the over-under of, of, of a celebrity getting in trouble? That that, that over, <laughs> over-under is five. Do you for the, the, the idea and that I will make an over? Yeah, what I'm saying is, you're asking me I'm to asking agree so I can get the second part. And, and I, I, I want to know. I want to get the second part. Well, the second <laughs> so, part is: so, are, are you over under the five? Am oh. I am I wrong? Am I wrong for saying that I'm, do, I'm doing a prop bet? Yeah, or are celebrities get in trouble. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you were wrong. <laughs> But you, you were saying so you like, can't answer my question. Okay, still make the bet. Okay, well, I guess, well, I guess, man, it was still like, <laughs> yeah, you're wrong, dude. That's come on, bro. That's heinous. Like so, like the over under on celebrities going to jail is five. You know, like damn, that's if, pray, if talk if, about praying on people down for make the bet, make like, the bet, make the bet. If you had to, uh, three, three. So it's going under. You going going under. under. I'm going <laughs> under. The reason why I'm going under is because Vegas can't afford the bad publicity. And they'll oh, cover that we, shit up. How many people gonna be out there? They will dude. cover that shit up. They somebody, will, somebody, dude, will they do could drug cover driving. up shootings. It's gonna from be Mandalay it's gonna, listen, No hey, comment. It's gonna be. What? They will cover that somebody up. Somebody gonna get they drunk. They don't want the bad press. Some, somebody dude, gonna get that drunk. F one was a travesty. It blew listen. up, and all you saw was manhole, and the thing was fine, dude. They sent like ten thousand people home that paid full price and never got their money back. You didn't hear nothing. Somebody's gonna get drunk. That town's controlled. Somebody's gonna get in a fight. And Somebody you will not get see, assaulted. You might see a cell phone footage, but they will oh. not publicly so arrest you. Yeah. You guys are saying plus over. Uh, you said under under five. Under. Yeah. I don't think it's over right. five. Yeah. That's crazy. I mean, think about it. How how how? Like really? <laughs> Am I? But like uh, they so wilding out. That, that would have to so be like a fight control. in a club that everyone was part of. They're and out like of Little Wayne went down, and like Drake was there. No, I'm just talking about five. Yes. I'm saying five celebrities. Has to be news incidents. Yeah. About dude. something happened. Yeah, I'm saying. Oh, I mean, under. Super Bowl weekend. Under. Super Bowl weekend. Okay. Now, 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 we've both gone under. And, and, and what are you I, taking? Am I out of bounds for making this? Yeah, prop you bet? are because it's like, <laughs> like I said, you praying on people's downfall. Like, I'm not like, it's like, like saying who's going to be the first? Like, who go, who go, like, who's the first to, to go out on the stretcher? Yo, Google on the Super Bowl, you're like, oh, yeah. dude, it's going to yeah. be this dude. Overall, there are going to be two dudes with going yeah, to concussion stretcher. protocol. <laughs> exactly. dude, concussion protocol. I mean, it is a bet. Is it possible? Yeah, but Man. is it right? No. no. So, I, so, so what's I, your bet? Are you over or under? He's I over. He's definitely over. over. Uh, he's definitely I over. Think it's, I he's think it's over. Just to think of that. Bet. I would <laughs> say, I would say, we, and listen. He set the line. We're going we're to we're talk about it. I would say eight. It's just going to be eight can, people. All right, can you name eight? a name? I don't know. I No, eight? hell no. I am not doing <laughs> He's that. He's not going to name a no, name. Now, listen, so no, what no, I no. will do, what I will do is the game, the show after the Super Bowl, I'll, I'll follow up. We'll start off, and I'll, and I'll give you the list of the ones that got in trouble. But here today, I'm saying eight people all right. are going to make the news. I'm saying yeah. you might hear of <laughs> one. One. Okay. Maybe. And hey. hey. And the only way you would hear of it is if it's truly an A level celebrity that it was just hey. so public. So so for the record just can't for the it. record, we are going from Friday night to yeah, they're Sunday. Going, they're going yeah. doing benders. To, to midnight. Yes. So I'm saying from eight AM Friday till yeah, Monday yeah, midnight till Monday twelve oh one. Midnight weekend. to twelve oh one. We know that Friday night yeah. to, to to Monday morning. What do you guys think? What do you yeah. think in the comments? Let us know. Watch somebody watch somebody over, over go under down five Thursday. Money Mike thinks that, week that all is your be crazy. he thinks that all your favorite celebrities up. are getting arrested. He said Taylor Thursday Swift is going down. He said Taylor Usher's Swift. going down. Just kidding. No, no, no. I'm just saying I'm just saying you say people it's Vegas. It's gonna be I don't think it matters where the Super Bowl is. There's parties everywhere and Vegas. It's going to be all these celebrities are used to Vegas. It's going to be like one person. Okay, cool. I I say that's it. It It will not. You guys under five. Hey, we're going to look at the results. In the comments, be sure to follow. Be sure to subscribe. Of course, I'm going to come back with my list. Profanity Nation podcast on (laughs) profanitytv.com. We out. See you next week. Peace.